Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. Javier Fortuna claims that Javante Tank Davis ducked him as a late replacement uh, after Abner Morris had the second detached uh, retina in his eye. Let's talk about a good fellow sports TV. We in the building. I appreciate the brothers and sisters checking out the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code goodfellow one boxing Get you 18% off no matter what the markdown discounted promos they're running. Go check them out. Lotion, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, hair, hair pomade, deodorant, muscle relaxer rubs. They got you all natural products. Website and promo code in the description. But Javier Fortuna went on Fight Hub, and I'll link that video in the description. As I always do on the source link, and he went in on, on Javante Tank Davis. Pretty much called him a duck. You know, questioned him as a human being and questioned his validity as a champion, saying that champions should always be ready to take the toughest test and that Pretty much, I'm paraphrasing here, Mayweather Promotions is protected Javante Tank Davis and that he would have came down to 130 and fought Javante Tank Davis for a fight. But maybe Mayweather Promotions was not only scared because Dougie Fresh here, <laughs> Harvard Tuna, was, was uh, very unorthodox, wild, and gave E-Bunny a lot of problems in Granada to effect a neck injury. Um, maybe they felt that Javier Fortuna wasn't going to make weight and pull a tank on tank. You know what I'm saying? If it's true that tank going to move up to 35, and he should have tossed the belt or just, you know, fought versus Javier Fortuna and see what would happen. But at the end of the day, you know, you get this type of backlash when you one of them dudes that woof a lot. Okay, when you one of them dudes that bark a lot and got a pin on everything and act like your shit don't stink. And then when it's time to really put up a shut up and you duck out of some shit like that, he can delegate and say, well, it was Ella B and Mayweather Promotions that did it. No, niggas ain't trying to hear that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not TMT. I'm Javante Tank Davis. We want to see you in there with some with the best possible opponent people going to pay to go see you. Real talk. Ain't nobody want to uh, see you fight no damn uh, Hugo Ruiz, a dude who just fought January 19th, 19th on the Pacquiao and Adrian Broner card. And the shit was trash. He was trash as hell, man. A career bantamweight who just moved a featherweight. And that's who you fight. And you could have fought Javier Fortuna. You know, you didn't. That just, I mean, shows people that you a duck. You know, when Derry Russell was pulling your whole card, you ain't say shit since. And at the end of the day, I'm not entertained by, by the fight that he fight, man. I'm upset. He could have fought Javier Fortuna, but like Fortuna said, you know, he ducked him, you know, and I believe he did duck him. You want to say it was Mayweather, it was Ellaby, whoever you want to say, man. If Javante Tate Davis didn't, didn't talk a lot of shit and, 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 and to Crawford, to Wilder, and everybody else, then this I wouldn't even made this video. I'd let the little nigga ride, but he talked too much shit not to get this backlash, okay? I like him and all. I like the way he fight. Oh, he going to do Mike Tyson. I punch harder than water. But shit, why you ain't going to fight no opponents? Why you ain't going to fight the best available? Why you going to make your fans spend money to come see you fight another fucking vagabond and, and that? Like, that's why I don't be respecting PBC like other niggas do, man. I don't rush up the ground. I don't him and walk on because, you know, he might have the best looking storefront. But everything in the store ain't up to code if you catch my drift. You know what I'm saying? Everything is, 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 is like it's all smoke and mirrors, too. They ain't giving no great fights, man. They they got the they got the names, but they ain't putting the names in with the names, and they give you some some bullshit like this on Showtime. I don't pay fifteen dollars for no Javante Tank Davis versus no no uh, Ruiz, you know, no bullshit fight. They should have made that for Tuna fight, but that's what's wrong with PBC, Showtime, and the rest of them. They want to protect all these kids, man. Like you can save them all. At some point, they got to get it popping, but they won't. You know what I'm saying? They're bankrupt before they make they make most of these niggas fight each other, man, and take tough fights. They're bankrupt to shit, man. They're going to the Red and Al Heyman to go back to doing music tours and, and shit like that. I'm telling you, this this shit is comical and boxing going to have to cleanse itself from from this bullshit. Watch. A lot of these dudes throwing this money money around and it's not going to bring a return. A lot of niggas going to go bankrupt. A lot of these dudes going to go broke if they ain't got no other hustle. I'm not talking about the boxers. I'm talking about the white collar businessmen behind these dudes, man. I'm telling you. A lot, all this money they throwing around, man, it, it ain't no way they could be bringing a return back on all sides from this money. No way. You know, some got to give, man, but I believe Fortuna should have fought Javante Tank Davis, and they, they, they ducked him. So it is what it is. But 
One day, you know, either he's going to run into that one nigga that's going to whoop his ass and give him a tough fight that they didn't expect, or they're going to try to move him up the ladder too quick and he's going to fight a real nigga and we're going to see what he made of. But Fortuna would have been a dope fight. They didn't want it, so it is what it is. We move on, but it is acceptable, Ducker, in my opinion. But, hey, keep checking us out. Don't forget to help Blaze use that promo code, Goodfellow on Boxing website, and promo code in the description for the All Day Natural Products, Lotion Soaps, Foot Soaks, Bath Bomb, and much, much more. Uh, go check them out and get that 18% off with the promo code. In addition to that, don't forget we on Facebook, Twitter. You can reach out to the email and the email if you want to. If you got a question, business inquiry, or video request, hit your boy up. In addition to that, man, keep checking us out. You want to make a donation to the channel, that link's there as well. But keep sharing the videos. I definitely appreciate the love. We gone.